Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving second order linear differential equations. Where we have our second order linear differential equation equaling some function of x. And I showed you in the first video in this series that the general solution y was given by the complementary function plus the particular integral. And in this video what we're going to look at is how we work out the particular integral and then go on to do the general solution when f of x is a linear function. So what we've got here is find the general solution to d2y by dx squared plus 2 times dy dx minus 3y equals 4x. And we're given that the complementary function is a e to the power minus 3x plus b e to the power x. This was something that I worked out for this equation equaling a constant in my first video in the series. And if you want to find out how I got this then, just click on this link here and it will take you back to that video. Or better still, go on my website examsolutions.net where there's further links to other videos in this series. OK, well let's just start by finding a particular integral. Now when you're finding a particular integral for linear functions, what we do is we say let y equal some constant, let's say lambda, multiplied by x plus another constant, which I'm going to call mu. Obviously it's up to you what constants you use, but I don't want to use a and b. Now what we do is we find out what dy by dx is, and we go on to find out what d2y by dx squared is, OK? Well, dy by dx is just going to be lambda, and d2y by dx squared, well, that's going to be equal to 0. And what we do next is we substitute these values into our original equation, which I'm going to call 1, this being 1, OK? And if we do that, d2y by dx squared, well that's 0, so I can leave that out. But then we've got 2 times dy by dx, so we've got 2 lambda. So 2 lambda, and then we've got minus 3y, so we've got minus 3 times lambda x plus mu. So that's going to be, well I'll just put that in brackets actually at the moment, OK? So that's minus 3y equals 4x. Now if we expand the bracket, OK, we've got 2 lambda minus 3 lambda x minus 3 mu equals 4x. And what we need to do now is try and compare coefficients. And I'm going to compare the coefficients, first of all, of the x terms. So we'll just put here, compare the coefficients, OK, coefficients of x. And if we do that, what we've got then is minus 3 lambda is equal to the 4 here, the coefficient of x. And if we divide then both sides by minus 3, we've got the constant lambda equals minus 4 thirds. OK, so we've got that, so we just now need to work out what mu is. And I'm going to next compare the constants. So if we just say here, compare constants, then what we have is 2 lambda, 2 lambda, and then minus 3 mu, and that's got to equal 0. No constants on the right-hand side there. And so if we rearrange this, add 3 mu to both sides, divide them by 3, we end up with mu equaling 2 thirds of lambda. But we know that lambda equals minus 4 thirds. We just worked it out just a moment ago. So that's going to mean that mu is going to equal 2 thirds 
times minus 4 thirds. That's going to be minus 8 ninths. So now I've got lambda and mu. I can write down what my particular integral is. So therefore the particular integral, pi for short, is going to be minus 4 thirds x, that's lambda x, plus mu, so it's plus minus 8 ninths, or just minus 8 ninths. So now I've got my particular integral, I can write down the general solution. So therefore we've got the general solution, well that's going to be y equals the complementary function, which we're told here is a e to the power minus 3x plus b e to the power x and to this we add the particular integral minus 4 thirds x minus 8 ninths. Okay so hopefully that's given you an idea of how we go about then handling particular integrals when we have a linear function. Just let y equal lambda x plus mu. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this particular tutorial. I'll be looking at other tutorials where f of x is a quadratic function, an exponential function and a trig function and those particular integrals do change. So hopefully you'll have a look at those as well and find them useful. Alright?